What is going on guys, it's Prodigy and today I got a Battlegrounds video for you and I want to have a little discussion with you guys about the possibility of PUBG Player Unknowns Battlegrounds becoming an eSport which they do have intentions on doing. Uh, if you guys have been following the game you'll know they've just recently had an invitational event out in Germany where a lot of the more popular uh, PUBG players got out there, uh, both you know YouTubers and actual pros alike. Got out there and uh, you know played a couple games and competed for prize money and uh, it was in a way it was kind of like their test run to see how the esports scene would uh, develop and um, to be flat out honest with you guys uh, if that is a taste of what we have to come for esports we are in trouble because the invitational event was overall as a whole. It was just flat out boring. It was not fun to watch. It was not entertaining. There was there was very little incentive for me to keep watching and that's disappointing and that is definitely something that you do not want in a game that you're trying to make a successful eSport. Now there's a couple of reasons for this and let me preface this by saying that I enjoy Battlegrounds very much. It's, I, I play the game non-stop. And I enjoy watching uh, Battlegrounds too. You know, I watch uh, people stream it all the time. I watch YouTube videos on it. You know, it's very entertaining to watch for me. But if I say that, you'll ask why was the Invitational boring to watch? And it's because the incentive was not in killing. The incentive was in, in staying alive. It felt way too heavily skewed uh, in one direction than the other. And because uh, kills basically were meaningless, uh, players were not, you know, playing the game to get kills. The players were just hiding uh, in houses, hiding in the gas even. And it was just not fun to watch because literally nothing was happening the entire duration of the match. You know, 20 minutes into a match and like two people have died. It, that's ridiculous and frankly it's unacceptable for a game that you want to make into an esport. So, if we're going to be talking esports for PUBG, they need to make some drastic changes. First of which, they need to definitely um, make kills uh, more meaningful in, uh, in these tournaments. Uh, kills should be worth way more than what they were. Players should not be incentivized to hide in the gas, you know, for the entire duration of the match and just keep healing over and over again just trying to get the best placement they can get because I mean that was one of the smartest strategies to do because I mean you would have won money doing that so of course players are going to do that if you know if they, if they can succeed by doing it but it's not fun to watch it's not fun to watch at all so the developers really need to take that into consideration secondly I think they also need to make some changes to the gas um, you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to just heal your way through the gas for an entire match that's that, 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 that shouldn't happen. You know, I, I understand um, the gas shouldn't be too, too punishing because players should have a chance to escape it should they get caught up. But you shouldn't be able to just heal your way through gas for 5, 10, even 15 minutes. You know, that kind of defeats the purpose of the gas in the first place. So they need to implement some sort of mechanic where either the gas damages you more the longer you've been in the gas or maybe reduce visibility in the gas so that you can't really see while you're in there. Um, maybe even uh, make the gas uh, stronger overall. You would obviously have to play with some values and um, find the right uh, balance so it's not too strong, but it's strong enough to where uh, it, it would discourage players from sitting in there too long. I think you should just make it just strong enough to the point where you can't uh, out heal uh, the damage of the gas. You can sustain in it and prolong uh, your death a little bit, but eventually the gas will win. They need to maybe find the perfect balance to make that possible. I'm not sure what it is, but I kind of like the idea of um, increasing the damage of the gas uh, over time. So like uh, if you've been in the gas for uh, 60 seconds, then the gas will slowly uh, increase in damage the longer that you've been in there. Uh, kind of like you, uh, you know, becoming more vulnerable to it. That's that's another interesting idea that they should probably check out. 
Um, but uh, just those two things alone would probably make a world of difference in terms of the competitive gameplay style. Um, and I just personally think that would have made it a lot more uh, interesting to watch. So aside from that, um, I do think those changes are good. However, if, even if those changes are made, that's still not to say that the game would be eSports ready. There's still a lot of things to consider, mainly the fact that a lot of this game relies heavily on RNG. So, you know, loot spawns uh, are completely random. Um, player spawns are somewhat controlled because uh, it's like uh, everybody spawns in a plane and you can choose where you land. Um, kind of not similar to H1Z1 where you're just randomly thrown into the sky and you got to parachute wherever you can get to. Uh, so that that's not as bad, but um, you know, obviously uh, loot spawns. You you know you don't know where any loot is, and so you can spawn uh, or land in a uh, a town or a compound and just not find anything. You know, not find any guns, and a guy who lands a couple houses down from you might find you know two or three guns and then he comes over there and you can't defend yourself and he just kills you and uh, that's obviously not good for a competitive setting because there was really no competition if one player has a gun and the other doesn't it's not really competitive to me so um i don't want to say it's not fair because uh, i don't know if that's the right word i want to use for that it's just not ideal in a competitive setting to have so much of the game be based on RNG. So I think a couple of things they can do to balance that out would be to either, you know, make uh, loot spawns more uh, or increase loot spawns or maybe make it so every building has at least like one gun. Um, doesn't have to be the same kind of gun, like uh, just make sure every building has some type of weapon. So that way maybe, you know, um, players can at least have some sort of a fair chance. I'm not saying that they should 100% do that, but maybe it's worth some uh, looking at, testing out, see how that plays out. Just to make it a little bit more of a level playing field so players have a chance to fight it out. Um, but of course, that still leaves a lot up to RNG. So uh, I guess you can maybe make it so that... Um, there's just a lot of rounds to kind of decrease the sample size of the randomness. So you'd have to probably have to play a lot of games to kind of even it out. Um, maybe make the games a little bit shorter or make the gas a little bit faster so the games play a little bit faster so you can play more games. Uh, which, whichever one you could do to speed that up. But these are all just suggestions that would probably, um, in my opinion, uh, help the competitive uh, nature of the game and make it uh, ready for esports. But Aside from that, uh, <laughs> above anything, before you're ready for esports, you have to make sure your game is 100% optimized and bug-free as possible, which PUBG is not there yet. They've definitely made strides in the right direction. The game has gotten a lot better, but it is not perfect yet uh, by a long shot. Um, they're still working on it. Updates are still coming through. I'm satisfied with the progress that the game is making, but it is not uh, there yet for a full release esports um, let alone just a regular release game so uh, they'll continue to work on that but uh, as of right now this is my opinion on the esports possibility of PUBG uh, you guys can let me know what you think in the comment sections uh, what you think about the esports possibilities uh, what, the, what you think of my suggestions whether you think those are good ideas or if you have any other suggestions that you think might be good as well drop them down in the comments I'd appreciate that but that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is Prodigy. See you later.